Welcome to Azaz, Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho. This is the show where we take your Zoho questions and spin them into Zanata Gold. I'm your host, uh, Greg Belknap, Director of Zoho Development here at Zanata Consulting. Today, I am joined by uh, one of our fine developers, Jason Noe. Jason, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing great. So glad to have you with us. I believe this is your uh, this is your first Azaz, right? I am, yeah. Awesome. Well, we're, we're very we're very happy to have you. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into that question. Uh, I believe it's regarding uh, Zoho Work Drive. So this is posted on Club Zanata, our online forum, uh, from Royce Dawson, who asks, In Work Drive, I keep a folder with all of the CVs for each of my contacts. I have put the external link URL into a field on the record. Whenever I need to update the CV, I currently go into WorkDrive, right-click on the existing CV, and update the version of the file. Is there a way that I could fill out a Zoho form where I enter the email address and upload the new CV and create a Zoho flow that will update the old version? I really don't want to change the external shared link if I can help it. Love your work. Well, uh, Royce, we also love our work, and we love that you love it. Uh, yes. Uh, Jason uh, has been, I, I tasked Jason with taking a look at this uh, over uh, the last uh, week or two. And uh, yeah, Jason, I think you've got some uh, some stuff to show us, right? Yes. So first up, you'd have to create the form in Zoho Forms. Um, I've set it up with a, a Zoho CRM contact field. This is an advanced field in Forms where you can link to a pre-existing contact in the system so you know you're getting the right email address. Then when setting up this uh, advanced field, you can map fields from the contact to fields on the form. So I have this email field pre-filling based on the contact you select in this field up at the top. Then once you submit the form, you're going to want to set up a Zoho flow. Over here in flow, I've set up the trigger of the flow to trigger every time the form is submitted. Once the form is submitted, we can fetch the correct contact based on the email address. This is just a regular uh, fetch module entry task in Zoho Flow. And the only thing I've filled in on here is the email that we're getting from the form. So here's the entry submitted with all the data that we get from the submission of the form. And I've mapped this email parameter over to the email search in the fetch contact. Um, once we have the contact, you can run a, a custom function to replace the file. Since you already have the uh, external link on the contact. We will have that information from the fetch contact above, and we can find the ID for that file in WorkDrive. To update, to have a new version of the file in WorkDrive, we can use this API call here. The parameters we'll need are the file name, which we'll have from that external link. You can fetch the file and get the correct file name for the um, CV that's currently in WorkDrive. Uh, the parent ID here will be that folder you're save, saving all of the CVs to currently. And then override name exists. We'll set that to true just to update the file with the new version of the document. And then the content here is the file we get from that form being submitted. And uh, I believe uh, something that we've uh, looked at before with Zoho Forms is uh, an interesting thing is that Zoho Forms itself does not have like an open uh, API, uh, right. like, you know, like you can, like there's no just API documentation you can go and find. However, uh, so the question would be like, well, how do I get, how do I get that file? Cause, fo cause flow, flow obviously doesn't pass files natively as part of like that trigger. Uh, but I believe that inside of the form, there will be some JSON data uh, or JSON data as, as you might say, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that has uh, an API endpoint that's like uh, all you, you basically you take that URL that's inside of the JSON data that comes back and that will have an endpoint for downloading the one specific file that was uploaded to that file upload field, correct? Exactly. In the JSON data that gets passed over when the form gets submitted, you can see here, this is the file upload field and um, it includes a path parameter. This is a link that you can use to download uh, the document as long as you are connected to form. So it will be another API call to download this document and you'll need to make sure um, you pass in the connection to your um, forms 
login. Yeah. And it, it, so the, the same connection that exists already in Flow can just be used uh, for that same invoke URL. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Which, uh, and I, I will say on a, on a side note, uh, it, we, we have, we have tried to like kind of reverse hack, uh, the forms API before and say like, okay, we can see, we can see these endpoints they've got, they exist there. <laughs> the API exists in some form for some things. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately we, God, we, we tried to like, just like work our way into just like developing a Zell forms rest API, but not, not quite. Maybe, maybe someday, but, uh, but in the meantime, you can at least, uh, they'll, they, they at least are kind enough to grant us access to those, uh, those file uploads. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, I think this was, this was a pretty cool one. Um, I like, especially the idea of, uh, updating like versions on a file in work drive, I think is really cool, especially because then, then that, that permalink, right. That, uh, was initially created stays the same and that way like if uh if this is a file that like you sent an email to one of your customers three weeks ago right and with a link with a permalink to that work drive file then all you can still just like use that say they can use that same link and you know you don't you don't have to like reset a bunch of stuff like hey by the way here's the new version here's the new, you know and people won't get confused about like wait which one am i supposed to click is this the new one is this the old one so i really like uh, i think that's really cool the idea of um uh using this and and really really smart move uh, on your part jason of using that uh that zoa crm field uh for uh for updating that i guess one one caveat with that is the the zoa crm field Right, that works in this case because he said that they're using it like internally, right? Like their people are logging in, putting in stuff. But if say you wanted to create a form for like your clients to be able to upload documents and then have them like, you know, upload to a certain thing, then that CRM form uh, or that CRM field, uh, doesn't work right like you have to be logged into your zoho account in your One organization good thing about using that field um if you send an integrated link from crm it, for example in an email template you can send that to people who aren't actually logged into your instance and just have that crm field um, hidden essentially so it's filled in in the background person filling out the form doesn't know it's filled in but you still have that connection to the contact um that very cool Okay. Yeah. So, but so you can, yeah. So you can, if you know who, if you know, like who you're sending it to, uh, right. if you're the one sending them the form, uh, then yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, yeah. Pre-fill it with, with that stuff. And you're right. It does work. It works great. Uh, it would just be if you had like a, like a public form, right. That like right. theoretically anyone could access, uh, then it, it would not work, but, uh, but yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, nice work, Jason, or should I say mm -hmm. Jason? Actually, I did just saw I did just see a video recently of apparently the guy who created JavaScript object notation that he thinks it's he thinks it should be pronounced Jason. I he's not he's not French, but I guess he just likes French. I don't know. Uh, but that's gonna do it for us here at Azaz. Uh, thank you again, Jason, for uh, joining us. Uh, as always, if you found this video helpful, we would appreciate a like and subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow us on your choice of podcast app if you just prefer to get us into your ears and you don't want to look at this mug. Uh, you can also head over to Zanata.com where uh, we've got resources on all the Zoho bundles and all the Zoho apps. Uh, you can also subscribe to our newsletter, get that sent directly to your inbox every week. And please, we'd love to see you over at Club Zanata, uh, club.zanata.com, where uh, you can join other Zoho users in uh, discussing Zoho topics, getting Zoho help. Um, and you can also uh, go to our team training courses uh, where you can get your team trained up in CRM, desk, or projects in less than a week. All right, that's going to do it for us here. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.